Hi there, this is Alexander from Deep Trekker. I'm the technical trainer, and I just want to talk a little bit about how sonars work, especially imaging sonar. And I want to show you some examples of the integrated Oculus sonar so you can get an idea of how functional these are and how excellent a tool they are as part of your ROV toolkit. So this particular mission was filmed uh, alongside this large concrete pier. So I've got that corrugated steel Z wall. You can see that as I rotate around with my sonar image pulled up, I'm very easily able to pick up that Z wall. Now, the way sonar works is I'm basically calculating the time of flight of sound pings. So uh, we can actually break this image down into roughly 500 sort of razor blade thin columns of sound so we're sending out a whole bunch of different pings all at the same time and when those pings hit an object and bounce back the sonar unit is calculating the amount of time it took for that pulse of sound to hit the object in return and it figures out how far away that object is and then it marks that as a pixel on the map so the farther away it is the higher that pixel is on the display and in addition to measuring relative distance, we're also getting a representation of how loud that response was. So the higher amplitude or the louder responses show up as brighter pings. And in this color palette, the brightest uh, shifts from a blue almost to a sort of a yellowy green. Now there are two metrics that we can change. We can adjust our sonar range and our sonar gain. So here's an example of bringing that gain down. As I decrease the gain, my whole image gets darker. It's basically increasing the threshold of volume at which the sonar sensor decides that it should place a pixel. If I turn the gain up, the whole image becomes much brighter. Now when I adjust my range, it's basically adjusting zoom. So I can zoom in and out just like I can increase the range or decrease the range. Now this next clip is uh, actually a recording from the sonar software. So this is what the sonar log looks like in post. And there we go, I'm exactly one meter away from the cone of that prop. Uh, and, and if we're using the, the sonar software, as you can see we're using here, I could actually take measurements using my ruler tool. And this is all integrated directly into the Deep Tracker controller. And you can record footage onto an SD card or uh, through an ethernet cable, you can view on a secondary laptop and record the footage in real time. So this is a, an incredibly valuable tool and it's personally my favorite third party add on to the Deep Tracker bridge system.